into a coffee business and we're trying to see how we can connect a farmer with students and how they can help us uh, drive the story of change. You know, because you know, a, a lot of time, you know, the farmer in, in Africa, they overlook in this area. If there could be programs that take the student to the farming uh, coffee every year and learn about what these people actually uh, are doing, you know, how much work goes into coffee. I think that would be eye-opening to some of these uh, people that drink coffee every day because they don't really know, they just think, oh, I get to go to 7-Eleven to make get my coffee. Um, but they didn't know the work that goes on to the coffee, to make the coffee, but, you know, how we can actually appreciate trees and, and people that grow and I think that need to be different level of you know charity. The 7 to 34 I, mean, I started as a charity you know and that's what I know I thought that the idea of creating charity uh, you know like every year we raise money you know, we tech we buy wood we lease land and all the stuff but I realized that you know it's not it's just I'm doing the same thing different approach but it's just the same charity format that people do every time and people really honestly the charity idea become uh, exhausted if you say maybe I don't maybe for lack of a better word it become exhausting you know you don't have the same structure every year in, in you know some you will have this big fundraising this year and the year before you may not have a big fundraising that raise a lot of money uh, no matter what it is, there's a lot of things that are not under your control and there's nothing you can do about it. So that's what also led us to this idea of, you know, how about we do something that we have at least 65 or 75 percent control of it. And, and if we still want to help these people in the ground, what is something that we can do locally to help these people in the ground? And so our, the village that I come from, or the refugee camp that I come from had a coffee and I say you know what we just have to get the coffee and sell the coffee so the farmer are not just forced into oh you have to tell your story how you are this and and you know charity level no you, you, you give out this coffee uh, a year this is how much money you get paid you give out this uh, five ton of coffee um, by the end of, uh, uh, by the end of December this is how much you get and they really work hard for that because that is a number of money that they know if I reach 10, uh, 3 ton, uh, 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 a ton of coffee this is how much I'm going to get in charity they just give them something and you often is not you know, not sell worthy, not sell price you don't feel really good you feel like your life depends on somebody else 